Today I want to talk about my must-have blazers. I really, really love blazers and it's such an important part of my closet and my personal style. And over the last couple of years, I've developed a couple preferences and I've figured out a few things that make them really versatile and very wearable. So I want to share that with you in today's video. And like always, hopefully sharing my insight can help you as you develop your own style and you can see what can work and maybe what won't work for you in your own wardrobe. So let's get started. So I have to start this video off with a classic black and a classic navy blazer and they fit two very important roles in my personal wardrobe and when I first started out discovering my style and kind of redoing my closet I knew I wanted a navy blazer. I love them because they're not only really classic but with the addition of gold buttons they feel really preppy and also nautical and it's a part of my personal style that I love tapping into. So when I set out to find this one I wanted it to fit very traditional I wanted it to be fitted but not too tight. I didn't want it to be too oversized and I wanted it to look like it was made for me. So I was able to find this that fits perfectly and I've worn it for a lot of years now and I know I'll continue wearing it for many, many more. And then on top of that, it's a beautiful lightweight wool. So it's something that I can layer up or down and wear a lot of different ways and for a lot of different times of the year. It's very, very versatile and essential for my closet. So then from there, I wanted a black version and I knew I wanted this again to be really classic. I wanted it to fit me really well, look like it was tailored perfectly and not be too anything. So no too, not too much embellishment, too many details. I didn't want gold buttons and I wanted it to be really simple because I wanted to be able to pull this one out of my wardrobe when I wanted to feel very sophisticated and very timeless and going for black with very minimal detailing that fits me really well gives me exactly that effect and they're both things that I use a lot in my personal wardrobe and I find them incredibly versatile. The next blazer I want to talk about is the cropped blazer and this is something that I've only experimented with a little bit but as my style changed and evolved I wanted something that was totally opposite to what I already had and since I had those really classic pieces and I have a lot of classic pieces in my closet going for something timeless like a blazer but in a cropped cut gives it a perfect juxtaposition. So I really like that this is black because I know how to style black and it goes with a lot of my wardrobe. And then also I love wearing this one with skirts. I think it looks really great with jeans and playing with that counterbalance gives me a lot of fun within my personal style. It's something that I didn't know I would style a lot, but since I added it to my closet has been something I've reached for quite a few times. My next essential blazer is the oversized blazer. And this again comes from experimentation and working within my closet and really using those traditional classic cut blazers, the black one and the navy one, and always feeling like if it was a little bit more relaxed, I could maybe style it differently. So I went for oversized versions of things that I know I love. And this has given me a lot of flexibility within my own closet because I have so many timeless pieces and throwing an oversized blazer on top of that gives me a great balance and something that I've had a lot of fun playing with. With. So I've got a black one, I've got this plaid one, and they're things that I really love and I reach for when I want things to feel classic, timeless, polished, but with a little bit of a twist. And I've had a lot of fun styling both of them. Next is the plaid blazer. And this is a carryover from what I just mentioned because I have two of them. I have a fitted one and then I have the oversized one. So the oversized one that I'm wearing today gives me that relaxed vibe. I like pushing up the sleeves and having it be a little bit more undone. And then going for the fitted one gives me a really classic look. Because it's plaid and fitted, I find it to be really timeless. And anytime I want my outfit to feel really classic, this one does that for me. It's a beautiful color, it's got great buttons, great detailing, and it fits me really well. And going for things that are exactly the perfect fit is a really great way for me to feel really buttoned up. So I like these two versions for each of those purposes, and I wear both of them equally. And depending on the effect and the mood that I'm in, I reach for one or the other. But they both serve a very important role in my closet. My next essential blazer is the tweed or the herringbone blazer. And my much like the navy blazer with the gold buttons, these fill such an important role in my closet because anytime I want to tap into that 
preppy or equestrian vibe, I reach for one of these. And literally just by putting this on, my outfit instantly has that type of energy. And it's such a fun way to tap into that uh, part of my personal style. So I put one of these on and I instantly feel like I should be walking through the countryside, wearing riding boots or a great turtleneck. And having a piece that gives me that type of energy is a really fun way to change up my style and also change up what I wear pretty regularly. So I can take the exact same base, but by swapping out the blazer, maybe going for the navy one versus one of the tweed or herringbone, I get a totally different feeling. And last but not least is vintage blazers. And I wanted to include this as a little note at the end of the video, because so many of the ones that I've already talked about and these categories categories include vintage blazers, and a lot of my blazers are vintage. But I wanted to make a special call out because if you're looking for a really great blazer, something with great structuring, really beautiful quality, and an interesting pattern or silhouette, or something that's a little bit hard to find, going vintage is one of the best ways to do that. So I have that black one that I love so much. I sized up, and it's got the beautiful mother of pearl buttons, and it's like a mix between an oversized and a classic blazer, but because it's vintage, it has a fit that's really hard to find now and something that I really, really love. And then if you're looking for things that are like herringbone or tweed, going vintage is one of the best ways to find these because they're so beautiful. You can find amazing quality and a really reasonable price point. So I had to include a special note on always checking vintage because if you like blazers or jackets or outerwear, things like that, checking vintage and secondhand is going to give you a lot of variety and also give you some things that are probably going to be some of your favorite wardrobe pieces because they are for me. So I hope that this was helpful for you and my personal wardrobe insights can help you in your own wardrobe journey. If there's anything in particular that you're interested in knowing about blazers, let me know and maybe I can do another video going in more detail. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you my next one. Have a great day.